Oh, hi. Love Have you ever been diagnosed with depression or seriously suspect yourself of having it? Is there someone in your life struggling with it right now? Depression is associated with persistently negative feelings, significantly affecting your thoughts and behaviors. It's important to educate yourself on matters of depression, to sift through the misconceptions and avoid doing anything that might worsen the symptoms for you and those around you. With that said, here are seven things you should never do when you're depressed. One, keep it a secret. Reaching out to the people you love and building a support system to help you in your struggle against depression is a wise choice to begin with. Many people suffer in silence, keeping their mental illness a secret because either they're in denial, ashamed of it, or think they can conquer it on their own. And while you might be convinced that you're doing everyone else a favor by keeping your problems to yourself, it isn't true. Depression isn't something that should ever be kept a secret. Two, drink alcohol. Do you often drown your sorrows with alcohol? While drinking might help you numb what you're feeling right now, there's a very high possibility of you becoming dependent on it the more you use it to numb your depression. In fact, alcoholism and substance abuse is common among those suffering from depression. So don't just trade in one problem for another. Three, isolate yourself. Do you have the constant urge to push people away? Do you lock yourself up in your room all day? Depression may make you believe that you need to be on your own all the time and that no one wants to be around you. But in reality, that isn't true. There are people out there who care about you. Your relationships and social activities can help curb the intense feelings of loneliness and emptiness that depression often brings with it. Four, blame yourself. Do you often blame yourself for being depressed? If you do, we're here to tell you that it's not your fault. It can happen to just about anyone. So don't beat yourself up for feeling this way. There are dozens of different reasons outside of your control that might be making you depressed, whether it's because of your genes, your brain chemistry, your upbringing, or your environment. So don't think that any of this is your fault. Five, neglect your self-care. Have you been laying on the sofa binge watching movies on Netflix the whole day? When was the last time you went for a jog or had your nails done? Yes, depression can make you lose interest in the things you once enjoyed. But the thing is, taking care of your physical health can make a world of difference in alleviating your stress and helping you cope with your depression. The appropriate amount of sleep, exercise, and healthy eating can help you feel better. Six, let it define you. Did you know that your therapist never refers to you as depressed, but rather as someone with depression? There's actually a very good reason behind it. Because mental health care professionals believe that you shouldn't be defined by your mental illness. You're more than your diagnosis. Depression changes you in a lot of painful ways. It affects the way you view yourself and the world around you. But it's important to never lose sight of the person you are without it. So remind yourself of all the wonderful qualities that make you who you are, and don't let depression stop you from doing the things you love or going after your dreams. And seven, give up hope. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, no matter how severe your depression may get, always remember there is still hope that someday you'll get better. The battle against mental illness is long and difficult, and it certainly won't happen overnight, but it's one that's worth fighting for, and it's certainly one you can win. Because as scary and painful and overwhelming as it can feel sometimes, you're not hopeless in your dream of a brighter, happier future for yourself. According to the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance 2018, more than 80% of those who seek treatment successfully recover from their depression. One study even reports that in as early as eight weeks, 58.7% of patients achieved functional remission, meaning they've effectively learned to manage their depression in a way that allows them to live life normally, while 15.9% fully recover. So in addition to being a serious mental illness, fortunately, depression is also highly treatable. With a strong support system, professional help, and the right lifestyle changes, you can win your fight against mental illness and leave your depression behind. Also, if you feel you relate to any of these signs or symptoms or disorders talked about on our channel, make sure you try and seek professional help, just to be sure. Because looking after your mental health is just as important as looking after your physical health. Are you or someone close to you battling this mental disorder? Can you think of any other practices to be avoided by those suffering from depression? You let us know in the comments below. Also, remember to share this video with those you think might benefit from it.
Stay tuned and thanks for watching.